Hello and today I'll be showing you how to make this blue Ducati monster with a kickstand. Uh, this model is very fragile but when the kickstand is put up it can move surprisingly. Um, it rolls, it is very fragile as I said before but it moves, the wheels turn, they often go off a bit but anyway there are pieces that do break the laws if you would like to call it of Lego there are pieces that are not connected properly and there is one piece that is not proper Lego it's actually blue tech but anyway I'm mentioning all the negatives about it. This is an awesome model. Uh, here's the pieces. Okay, uh, here are the pieces. And here is the one piece that you might need to get from a store. Or you might, you, you're probably just going to have it at home anyway. It's a piece of blue tack. Okay, just put that to the side. Uh, now, the pieces that we've got is a gear stick uh, four of these little holding pieces they're going to hold the wheels in place two robot arms black or light grey uh, tyres that, that fit onto these wheels these bars uh, these little pieces with the holes in the middle that you can attach pieces onto and you've got a round stud uh, one of these side pieces, a 2x2 two two side piece another robot arm um, one of these pieces and uh, one of these They these are the ones that click uh, you could use a a normal one one that doesn't make the clicking sounds but I couldn't find any ones that attached like this then we've got this blue curved piece you could use a slope or anything like that but that's just going to be the petrol tank then a one by one start of the same colour as the petrol tank red light, that, that has to be red because it's the brake light Lights, they have to be white, uh, see through or yellow. These pieces, which you're going to clip on, uh, exhaust pipe piece, or well, yeah. Then you've got another bar piece. Now, they could be the same, they I wanted them to be the same color as that, but I couldn't find any. Then this is going to be the leather seat. I chose brown, you could choose black, or any of those colors that could be leather. And finally, these last two stud pieces. Uh, make sure they're an, an engine-y colour, I suppose, because they're going to be the cylinders. Alright, this is the front piece that connects the handlebars to the wheels and the body. Okay, first piece you get is this clip-on bar piece. And this black piece, it could be grey or any of those other colours. Clip it onto there. Yeah. Then you get your two motorbike wheels. These are kind of not optional. You have to use these wheels. And you're just going to lay the wheel on like that. And you can't have the piece around the other way because it won't work. So you're just going to lay it on there like that. And get another one and just put it over the top. Now it is a bit of a, it, it doesn't connect properly, it's a bit wobbly, but it's still pretty good, it's fine. Then to make sure that this doesn't go all over the place we're going to put these little bars in front of it and they do not connect on properly. So it's breaking the laws of Lego, but whatever, it looks cool. So we're going to clip on both of those and don't try to push them on because if you do it's just going to break the Lego then you get your 
to see through or yellow see through pieces and put them on the front like that and instead of having it like that you're going to push this up until it won't go up anymore and don't push it too hard because again as I said it's going to break the Lego and you're going to get this robot arm and clip it in the middle there like that that's the front section of your Ducati monster right the next section of the Ducati is the body which clips on to the front wheels and the rear wheels you get these two bar pieces most uh, probably you'd want them to be the same color but you're just gonna overlap them like that then you're going to put these side pieces on they actually only came out recently um, so if you don't have them in your tub of Lego then well that's a bit annoying anyway uh, you're going to put the exhaust pipe piece and again this doesn't actually fit on properly so again don't push it too hard then you get your fuel tank and this clipping piece the clicking bit and you're going to put it on the f on the back of the tank and put the tank on the exhaust pipes like that then you're going to put your gear stick on make sure it's in that position it can't be in that or that just prefer it to be there and you're going to put in a cylinder there or just a little decoration bit and then the real cylinders both the same colour color, on the other side there like that that is the body of your Ducati now you get these two loop bits here and you're going to put them on the little front part, part body like that for handlebars and then you're going to connect the front to the body like that don't put it on like that or that put it in the middle the robot arm in the middle and before you push it in like that here's where the blue tick the blue tack comes in handy uh, it is optional um, but it's just there to uh, I don't know, keep it there so you're just going to take a tiny little bit you don't want it to be too big you don't want it to be seen then you're going to fold it back and put, place the blue tack there and you're going to fold it up and push it into place there and now the front doesn't really move which is good because most of the motorbikes that have been made are quite fragile and that is the only way to keep it from breaking and you're going to get the seat which is going to have this white clicking bit that blue piece or the tank colour red brake light, red of course and your leather seat colour going to get blue piece or tank colour piece put it there and your leather one by one piece on top like that and the brake light on the back like that and you're going to connect it onto the back there like that and fold it up one click so you don't want it up to just one. The final part of the Ducati is the rear wheels and they are connected nearly exactly the same as the front wheels via these black pieces here. Get those wheels as well and put them put the wheel piece in like that and clip it on there like that. Mm, and I haven't really found a way to make sure that that is secure. The next step will has tried to kind of attempt to make it stay there. But anyway, you're going to lay the front wheel, the back wheel there, and put the other black piece over there like that. And now for the next part, you're going to get these two robot arms and you're going to clip it on in a not so lego way style 
take off, I find it easier to take off the cylinder or the, this, um, the round piece there and on the other side as well. Just put them on later once you have done this step. What you do is you're going to connect the robot arms on like a pair of wings like that onto the exhaust pipe piece and what you're going to do is you're going to just slowly fold it back like that so this is this is quite an optional step I just think it looks better like that so we've got those pieces there then you put cylinder pieces back on and they do fit there they stay there the, the robot arms do and if if when you're putting it back on they move out just put it push it back and they're gonna stay there then for the stand you just fold it out a bit more and push it down like that that is a finished Ducati monster I uh, hope you liked my video and have fun with it Thanks for watching.